Heck, throw divine bloodline on top of this, and you got a real nightmare on their hands. I mean, what are they supposed to do? Heck, what is death supposed to do? Thanks for messing around in Vampire Survivors Beswick 250, this time with actual audio. Yay, audio. OBS even updated to try and screw me over, but I saw through it. Anyway, we got Pugnola Pravone. Oh, did I turn off random events? Weird. Anyway, we got Pugnola here. And, uh, well, as you can see in the top left there, only two weapon slots? That's a bit strange. Well, you know, I count them towards the limit. Even if the guns become one. We gotta stick with it. Boy, is getting the other weapon gonna be annoying. But the weapon cases don't count. Need to shoot. It's actually gonna be somewhat trying. As, well... Not much in the way of Pearson action here until I get a couple levels. Still. Well, I just gotta focus on one gun until it gets better. Could have gone hard of fire too, that would have kept me going for a bit. Oh, her theme overrides the stage theme. There we go, that'll really change this paradigm. And what is my third? Because very obviously, third passive. It's going to be Academy Badge. Yay, Academy Badge. Got to make sure I get that Academy Badge. The best probably would have been the better idea since I could get the early evolution there. Well, the damage up is somewhat helpful, but it's really piercing amount that's gonna be doing things. Oh, on the other hand, damage is damage. Hm. There we go. I can almost clear a whole line of enemies now. Out of that, out of that attack. Man, it doesn't want to give me a red gun at all. Good grief. Well, at least Empty Tome is maxed. Now I can't not evolve it. Oh, right. Man, I'm going to waste so many limb breaks. Oh, wait, that's an evolution chest. Because it's silver. I ho silver oh, away. So I can hold off on... Stuff. Now I max it out. It's so nice to be able to tell that now. And it does, it is for evolution, it's not for chest innards. Innards, well, whether you get a purple or legendary chest, an epic or legendary chest. Oh wow, your gnomon, your pop culture has infected everything. Pew pew. Hey. Alright, time to get Faragi. Oh yeah. Yeah, Ragi. Get lasered. These are not weapons I want. Banish the spread gun. Banish the I'll get through to the end one what I want one day. There you are. See you, laser. Because it evolves with what I have, you see. Ooh, I'm gonna go through there. That's some troublesome prospect. Wow, it's so slow on its spin. Well, I will get some amount. Hmm, I wonder if the arrow changes depending on the chest color. Didn't seem like it did it on that stiff. 
I was only doing like 70 damage. That's not great. That's pure benefit at that point. On the other hand. Wow. Oh, I messed that up. Oh. oh it isn't on hurry. That's... Oops. Well. Oh, let's see. Hurry. 27 to take out. Well, I don't want him to keep going, but probably be faster just to keep it as it is. That explains a lot about why I'm still alive despite that somewhat weak start. But this is a mount and revise, which are a lot of increase for power for Faragi. Hey, it's pie in time. It's the Academy Badge! Yay, Academy Badge. Oh, let's try to get that to evolution range first. Wow, that was a lot of levels to be put behind. I'm out. It's a laser light show everywhere we go. Want to avoid levels for now. Speed, sure. Nope, you're not an evolution chest. You're not an evolution chest at all. I mean, it's a lot of laser. It's a lot of laser. Can you make it? Nope. Poor Atlantean. Poor, poor Atlantean. Man, I'm gonna, I'm already gonna run thin on commentary. Um, lasers, lasers, so many lasers. Or for the Dark Arcanas, I'm gonna... Oh, let's see. What's the best way to put this? I'll grab all the rest of the Dark Arcanas all in one video. Between the third and fourth wave. I suppose technically I could count it in part of the fourth wave. With what I have in store. Yes, that would be an option. Hm. I mean, I should be able to do that. Hell, man, easily. Space Dude gets his for cooldown reduction. That's not too difficult. Empty Tome. Silent Sanctuary. That'll get it maxed out right away. Nothing else increases it, right? Right. Well, I could get Paranormal Scan. That'll do it eventually. If it is an ace Apton. Well, let's see. The next one is... At Robert 665 Hell. That should be simple enough. Just get him Hollow Heart and Metaglio left. Why am I not getting you? I mean, the mount is fine, but... See if I can re-roll into that. Yeah, you can re-roll into the Dark Arcana. Also, there's six Arcanas. Yay! This actually isn't, like, good. Huh. Yeah, I don't want more passes. I don't want more weapons. Oh, I suppose I could go with more Arcana. Sweet. Evolution chest. Probably the biggest advantage is that it allows you to get evolutions early on any map. I'll just random always at this point. All oh, right, I have to go loop around to fight the Atlantean again. Huh. Just money. You know, bridging. Man, it feels so weird not having her on. I was wondering why she was so slow in the force. That's why I realized I didn't have it on. 
And this is still just hyper too. So she's still faster. I think. Does hyper increase health? I think inverse is the only thing that increases health, right? Yeah, you got farther than moon in Lantine, I think. Uh, go get... Oh god, it just feels so slow. It's like I'm going through molasses or something. I think Bats was even faster than average. Two. You know, even if I get a passive or whatever. It's not going to be able to level up unless I get it multiple times. And ruin the third wave and... I mean, if it's something especially exotic, rare, rare, like with the animas, then I still grab it, even if it breaks the rules. Clearly, I'm not in any real danger here. Alright, time to get more Clover Lock and fight some more Atlantean. <laughs> and you know, pick up into the camera. Camera. Mouse. Oh yeah, well I was live streaming of Holo here the day before I recorded this, but like three days. Oh, the eyeball is the extra boss. Huh. So I guess it's not guaranteed. I mean, well I'm not guessing, it's not guaranteed. Hmm. So what's the dark chest supposed to represent? Is it only, is it Arcana that I was getting last time? So if you start with that in certain stages, it's gonna go crazy. Hmm. Can I just go through the forest? It's somewhat, well, it's not faster, it's in fact even more. I just don't really go down this route that often. Let's show it off. The praying mantises just do so much damage for some reason. I mean, yeah, they look kind of dangerous with their giants. Mmm. Saw arms. Yay, more laser. Is it possible to go more laser than this? Uh, I'm going to count Sonic Bloomer Wave Cannon as a laser. None of the other Operation Guns guns are laser -y. Ah, Phaser. Phaser would be a laser. I guess I could grab Phaser. Well, no, I wouldn't be able to Photon Storm it. Really want me to get close, eh, Atlantean? Well, that didn't avail you a thing. Hey, money. This is actually damage since it'll boost up. Aragi. <laughs> Nine revives. Pretty revive. Oh wait, gotta go see what that chest does. Not just a uh, evolution chest. That is an idea you could do, especially on. Heck, that's actually gonna be probably what I grab on Whiteout, right? Whiteout, all those stages that have bad evolution timings. Because if you can't get more evolution chests, whatever our difficulty is there, it's rammed down with the uh, Aeon of Dark Knight. I mean, I could just unlock the Dark Arcanas and now it's not particularly hard. And then just wave them about in the future. 
still annoying that I lost all that audio for no bloody real reason. Why? Why would you switch it off default? Or why would you switch it off my actual recording settings for something on default? That makes no sense. How could you possibly do that? They still don't know whether it was the driver update or the Windows update. Oh wait, that means... I should check Discords. Well, no, I can't check Discords at the moment. Because I'm recording, woo! Yeah, this is why I stick to hurry. It's not really a challenge at this rate. At least I can sometimes get wonked on hurry. Not happening here. Well, most deaths come across as cheap. This is just too cheap in my direction. I'm just walking through it with no trouble. And a chance of extra arcanas does mean a chance of compensating for whatever the arcana takes. You get it even just one, you're even and out. Uh, let's see, so on inverse. So I was spitballing the stuff with Conchetta, like I was talking about. Because you don't need Boogaloo, you can just grab Wicked Season and then an old Sanctuary off the Arcana, so you could skip going on Inverse. And that does have an disadvantage, since that, you know, basically thirds the enemy health and makes them more vulnerable. That means Curse also doesn't scale outrageously out of control. And effectively tripling your damage is probably worth it. But that would have to be double one or something. So for that, Shadow Pinion by default. Heck, you probably don't even want Shadow Pinion. Can you limit break it if you banish it? I think Dex showed it off that, yeah, you can. Or seal it. I suppose if I candy box into something. Eyes, eyes. Eyes everywhere. More chests that of all things that I can't use. This is why I put it on hurry. I'd be almost done now, and my woeful commentary would be over. Now I have 15 more minutes to fill. What shall I fill it with? Fill up, fill up, fill up, fill up. Yay, levels. Okay. This one should be going up on Tuesday, I believe. Hmm. Well, I got to show off the Darkana more from the start here, so that's nice. You know what? Yeah, I think I'll grab the other Arcana just off camera and then show them off with other characters on this video. That's a better idea. Yeah, the Space Dude Santa. Robert. And She Moon? Yeah, She Moon. The eyes have it. Heck, double hit would probably be going. Oh no, I spoiled what it was gonna be. But uh, yeah, double hit. Space Dude gives his double hit effect. I... I think it's Bat Robert... Or Santa's... That gives... The most game-breaking effect of all. 
But that is for later. And the other two are also still fairly ridiculous, but not... Well, I hope you enjoy Sammy looking fine and balanced. It really is just that ridiculous. You've probably seen in the Dex video, because he already showed off all that nonsense. But hey, if you stuck around to watch mine as well, thanks for that. Speaking of kind of nothing related to this, I might actually have switched the post time for this video. Uh, I'll check my analytics and see if I can what would be a better time to post it. Is this? Well, just having it when I'm... Oh, hey, candy box. Neat. Eh, just skip. I don't care. Because normally what I've been posting these videos, it's been basically an hour after I started streaming. It actually makes it kind of hard to follow some of the stats. You don't got that glowing arrow that's going above. Yeah, this was a decent demonstration of how you can take advantage of the early evolution chest to get an early weapon and fix some of your issues. It wasn't intentional, but it worked. Man, I still have 11 more minutes to go. This is why I'm glad to just be in a hurry constantly. I can run out of things to say and just sort of mumble my way through to the ending. Give me Arcana. Nope. So maybe having high luck helps with getting better bosses. Oh wait, maybe the black chest is only dark arcana. I think I got regular arcana out of it. I am maxed out. Hmm. All oh, the lasers. Then I could get to the beginning and get even more all the lasers. Get however it hits. Yeah, and here's an easy... It's gonna be a super easy 200k. That's just the difference. Not being on hurry causes you. Toasty, Chris, and Conchetta, they had to struggle for it and barely got over. Toasty only because he went past 30 minutes. His death couldn't stop him. But Pugnala, with this solid but not particularly menacing build. You know, she just sort of slept walk into it. Slept walk? Really slept walk? What kind of term is that? Sleep walked into it. I try to be fancy. And then I end up looking like a clod. I'm a dingus. Yay, pie. Yummy, yummy pie. That'll go nice with the cake. More gem, more. Man, what is... Okay, yeah, it's... Pull down with space to trigger the celestial or starry sky with she moon. That should be super simple on the out. Especially with a new arcana allowing me to get the dang celestial voltage instantly. Santa, you get a weird souls. Just go to Capella Magna there. No trouble there. And then for Bat Robert, you just get the health up. So grab Hollow Heart and the tag to the left. And Divine Bloodline, it'll be no trouble. Yeah, grab those real quick off camera and then show them off for the next couple times. <laughs> more pie, more pie for the pie. 
And coming up on that, sweet, sweet 200k. Bam. No trouble whatsoever, and still got eight more minutes to go. So probably close to 300k, though. The final waves are going to be much more dangerous. But even if even these lighter green knights aren't getting in, well, I suppose that would make them lime knights. Even if these lime knights can't get in. Big ones will still probably do a bit, but... Well, nine revives is nine revives. I still got a wake, even if it makes Faragi weaker. Oh hey, candy box two turbo. Now what could I possibly want here? Yeah, there's no point. Even if I get a paranormal scanner, what's it gonna do? No, I was thinking about it. I don't think there's any stage that actually has an Orologian on the ground. There's a bunch that have rosaries, you know, Capella Magna and Space 54. I think even here. Yeah, over there in the garden with the crown. Maybe somewhere on Abyssal Sky too, but nowhere that seems to have an Orologian. Vacuum, that's, well, here and on Olus Replica, maybe on Neo Galaga 2. Orologians. But that's what I'm going to wait out. All those snowmans make so many Orologians pop up. Just need to make sure to grab... Out of Bounds? Yes, Out of Bounds is the damage one. Even spawn it in more. Wait, no, I need to start with... Bolinero. Bolinero on the Dark Knight. That's not Chaos on the Dark Knight at all. So, after her is Giovanna, who has speed. And, uh, uh, well, let's start one of the other ones. Cool down! Double cats? That sounds like a nightmare. Uh, radiously overbroken arcana? No consequence. What do the other two do? I mean, I know the one I have, and I know Space Dude's one, because it basically doubles his effect. The third one is beyond broken. No, oh. and also I think I got distracted like five times, but is there an echo on this recording? I don't think there should be. Or the audio, oh, well, it probably doesn't sound the best just due to the mic being off to the left of my head. It's one thing, it's stuff in the background, like, you can start dark. Oh, what was that? Oh, wow, you come out at 25. Man, yeah. this feels so old. slow. Oh, did you get stuck on the tree? No, well, you're not lasting long, Avatar guy. So, is there an echo when I record the Vampire Survivor stuff? I don't think there should be, since, well, I have my back to the wall in this case, so... Uh, and I don't think I talk loud enough for it to bounce off behind the computer monitor. Oh, you're still getting health. When I'm at the computer, instead of playing on the console, it makes more sense since the wall is about a foot off left. And I am not back to it there. Wow, it's still alive. That's so impressive. I guess I can just get so much more health off of normal because so much more stuff is dying. But now it's stuck on something. Well, ironically, it's much more dangerous here. Oh, I have nine revives. There's no way, even with their HP times level nonsense, that they'll get through nine revives. Or I get stronger and stronger and stronger each time. How are you still alive? Good grief. Also, I should get... Yeah. 
High time. It's some Sammies here. Okay, yeah, more more Sammies here, and that'll make me invincible enough. And just in case they do get in, well, if the boss wouldn't die that fast, then there's no chance. But yeah, I'm looking into getting soundproofing for the streams. Not very much. Mostly just to cover up the wall next to me. Oh, what the heck? Oh, hey, you finally dropped an arcana chest. What could I even get at this point? Oh, your first reroll is free. Oh, that's that what the reroll zero means. More laser, more. Enough laser to fill screen. Man, be even more crazy with duplicator. All right, 28. And I actually have to last the full minute. Yeah, it's got more. Huh. The base gets clawed out by the lasers, but the other one, wow. Crazy, absolutely crazy. It didn't hit her, but still, that's a ridiculous rush in. And hey, kind of close to getting the 300k. I mean, yeah, I have a couple lags, but that's not going to make a difference. I make it millions, millions higher. Hmm. I do think that Conchetta could possibly make it pretty high. If she got 200k off of a not fully optimized build, she might actually break the million mark before the 30. Oh, hey, something actually hit. Well, the final is... Final wave is much lighter than this. But is it 150,000 lighter? Or 15,000 lighter? In a minute? Who knows? Apparently. I mean, it's not going up huge, but still. Maybe I should run. NFT. Yeah, they're barely showing up on screen. Are they dropping XP? No, there's a big red gem around. Wow. That's the largest red gem of all time. None of them were dropping it. That means, wow. And it's still out there. There's another big red gem out there. That wasn't the only one I had. Also, why are they dropping blues instead of reds? That's strange. Maybe that vacuum didn't grab the real red gem. That one didn't either, huh? What was that? Oh, that was a boss. Wow, it's getting hit by so many lasers. Death was actually very slow in reaching me. 125.5 million. Oh, 3,000 off of hitting the 300k. Not bad. Wait, this is a legacy, huh? So this does count as her old model. Even though it's the one that's first in our setup. Strange that. Alright, time for Giovanna Grana. More vampire survivors. White out. This time around, we're going for maximum cats with Sapphire Mist. All weapons have a chance to fire twice instead of once when activated. A list of weapons might fire more than twice instead. Ooh. Catty. Yeah, let's get melee bullet blue from the start. Yep, I'm using one of the worst weapons with one of the worst weapons. And I do not want any of these, so banish. This boy losing because the bracelet just did not want to show up outside one time early on. Kind of annoying. And now I have it, and that will fix so many issues. Empty tome because empty tome. Luck to prevent the cats from doing as much damage as possible. And then the third one is Tirajisu there, because the cats are still going to kill her at some point. 
Do I have to go maximum cats? I have to. Well, I can't go to maximum cats because that required duplicator beginning and a whole lot more other things. I will go as many cats as I can. Boy, is my fame bracelet very nice. No early evolutions here, unless you get the other Arcana, Dark Arcana. Dark Arcana. But still, better than nothing. Better than my other options. That's what I should have said. I have to grab every chicken I see immediately. If I'm damaged at all. Can't afford to let the cats do anything. Wow, what is with her duration? It seems so much slower than it should be. The double blast for... Oh my god, I got barely tapped and it's already so low. Alright, let's increase my luck. You have lower health than average? No, 133 is average. Damage it. Hold off on the cats for as long as I can. Try to get the luck up. If I can get some other stuff. So doesn't want to give me the bully blue. Not that that's a bad thing. Bully blue is terrible. Ooh, the worst weapons in the game. Or yeah, the worst weapons in the game. Bracelet's not really a carry weapon, it's more of a win more weapon. Now just try and stop me from eating bully blue levels. Still gonna be better than cats. Cats! Now let's get the tear jisu out of the way. Sick of it showing up, fogging up space. I can't evolve. I can evolve the bracelet. That's it. Spawned right as I was moving. Ah, uh, frozen trees. The Melise story. This count as a fire weapon. The bonus damage. I can't tell. Vacuum. There's a reason I got tier Jisu. There is a reason. Wait, it just does not want to give me any chickens, huh? Purple cat. Purple cat. Storm. Oh, they ate something. Wish. Maybe I should have gone for a tracked orb over Tier Jisu. Then again, they're barely spawning in any pickups as it is. It's so weird. None of these are great. Arcana Bat, save me. Actually, no. Give me more cats. Oh, did I pass over it on accident? No, it's here at the very end. More cats, more! This is a bad idea. This is the worst possible idea. There is no benefit to this whatsoever. The screen is nothing but cats. Eesh, usually it pops out so many pickups. They get changed with the update. It's 
speed, really. There's a chicken down there. No, oh, they got it before I was even remotely close to it. Just one chicken is all I ask. Should have gone awake. That's still not evolution. Oh my god. Just wrecking her health so badly. I mean, the damage is fine. The enemies aren't getting in either. Even with all this luck. Oh, I know. I should have... Should have gone disco. Can't grab treasure chests. Can't... Well, can they grab coins? Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. Wait, they can grab the Orologian too? Jeez. No timer, no timer. Oh! They grabbed all of them. Oh wait, I got one! I got one chicken! Yay! Yeah, they aren't grabbing the money. The disco of gold would be the safest option I actually have. More cat. More cat. More cat. More cat. Oh, cat. Oh. Ah, evolution. Finally. Bracelet better. Bracelet get better. Pass through. Kill. 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 all. Oh. Wait, I should pop this now, yeah. Oh, there's a vacuum. Less helpful, but still. Well, that's so many cats. Wow, it's with the, the vacuums all of a sudden. I grab that rosary. Do the cats grab it? Oh man, why is the bracelet just clearing corridors like that? Is it just getting that much of a hit off of the speed boost? Okay, now we gotta go disco gold, cause... Well... Healing. And if it's one health, it's one health. Once I get a dang bag of gold... No, no, my chicken, mine. Ha! Not this time, cats, not this time. Oh, I should grab cat one. Oh, there's Kazuna. That cat's doing a lot of cat in action. Now, obviously, if I go on Sun Old Sanctuary, it'd be even more, but man. Man, I did not want to risk it. Now with all these cats going about. Very, very fast kill on Kazune too. 
All them cats who certainly beat the fox. The original title of the book was The Cat and the Fox, but it was too easy for the cat, so they changed it. Oh, candy. Oh, right, I can still level this up. Ah. Try bracelet. Try bracelet. Bye-bye, candy box. No one wants you. Wait, why are the cats frozen? Where, I swear one of the cats was just frozen right there. Did you see it too? Did you? Yeah, there's a frozen cat right there. Uh, yeah, you can barely see it. Oh, I can just go around them always now. I always knew cats were the enemy. Oh, hey, Melise. Woo! Oh, Cold Fever doesn't seem like it's going up as high as it should. Maybe just because I don't have stone mask. That's a surprisingly good kill ratio for this stage. Don't get all them skulls. One thirty blast from the tri bracelet. Not the worst. Melee bullet blue is there. Cats though, cats are everywhere. Try to get through all these cats, death. They've got nine lives. Do you? Wait, what flock destroyer did the most? That's strange. Oh, well, well, I guess the NFTs count as two separate ones with Gemini and without Gemini. Hmm. Melee like Bully Blue did nothing. Tri Bracelet was going to take the top soon enough, but it came in very late. Either way, that's Giovanna down for the third wave, yay. Oh, for some more Vampire Survivors, Beswick, Alpina Pecorina, Laboratory, Crystal Christ, defeating frozen enemies gives bonus max health, recovery, and growth. Triggers an aura low gain when health reaches a critically low level. Ooh, we'll freeze them all. Use that big duration bonus to take them all out. Wow, that's gonna go fast. Hi, Merchant. Okay, it's like sub one. Sub one, so that makes sense. Okay, they got crystal heart things. I'm seeing that show up. I saw that in the Discord as well. And then that gives the bonus, and it heals you too. Okay, so you need quite a bit to actually level it up. Also, it heals you, so that's absolutely ridiculous, and if you pick this, there should probably be no way you lose. Unless you intentionally don't build for it, in which case, why? Oh, more heart. More heart. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Like, already... Like, what are they going to do against this? And heck, it boosts up recovery too. You can combine that with Cosmo. Heck, this is amazing on Cosmo. Beyond amazing. With Impostor Tongue and some freezing action. What is anything going to do to this? A... Uh, Okay. Okay, so magnet range. Man, all these dark arcana are ridiculous. Yep. 
pew, 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 pew. Oh, is that an enemy? Oh, hey, that can evolve. Well, it can only evolve through time warp, so focus on that. This grab the crystal hearts? Nope. Oh, I also need wings up, so. Where's the molasses? Then when I get out of bounds, it'll be even more ridiculous. Seriously, throw this on like a bisphos kari heck with inverse. Just scale out of control instantly. Hmm. It's not that much recovery. I mean, I start at point five. And this far, and it's only plus three. Oh, still, that's quite a lot. I had a tractor would be even better. I shouldn't have grabbed duration. Well, I didn't know if it would be attached by it. There we go. Let's get some time warping. Yeah, they stand no chance. Why did I go duration? She has inbuilt duration. Well, I mean, I suppose it'll make the time warp even better. Well, she should have no trouble getting through the end, right? Oh, right, I built a freeze on an end game where enemies are super resistant to freeze. Well, time warp will still defang them. Uh, da 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 da, out of bounds. Even if they aren't frozen, it's hard. They'll still be frozen. And take the blast. Even if they are resistant. But they won't get frozen as long. They'll still proc it. And they'll still be blasted with the out-of-bounds AoE. Hmm, I wonder if Mad Groove grabs them all. Hey, oh, it's a chest, ooh. Oh, Matt grooving for the third. But will I get through the dang? Try blunders. Well, I have two revives, so maybe. Maybe I can make it. Obviously, a character with more frozen built would be way, way better on the start, but... Uh, you know, want to show them off ASAP, ish, inadvertently. Man, when early evolutions are your weakest option. I mean, the kill counter is not very high, but this isn't a high kill and build. 2.7 recovery. I mean, it'll add up. It adds it. Yeah, I really do want to grab Mad Groove. Can I afford it? Well, 512 health, probably. Yeah, this goes great with Sarah Bonde. Uh, what was it? No, it's Might Armor. Okay. Yes, it gathers all the hearts. Um, astounding. It would help if they got in bounds, but hey.
Mad Groove has got mad moves. Alright, staying as close to the middle as I can. Here we go. So many. It's basically every single one of them. Crazy amount. Absolutely crazy. Oh, let's see. Who has Amazing Magnet? No. You know, Gorgeous... No, wait. Gorgeous Moon won't grab these. They won't grab Experience Gems. That's silly to think otherwise. Wow, I got four health from them now. Oh, it's every two minutes? I thought it was every minute. Huh. Still. Yeah, obviously Cosmo's gonna go way beyond this, but this is amazing for Cosmo. Keep scaling up. You know, you can go with Divine Bloodline before... Oh, I mean... Oh, it doesn't matter. You know, this is an amazing one for Cosmo. Keep scaling up that recovery even more ridiculous than it is. And you get health off of it. Heck, you're basically invincible. You're beyond invincible. And you just grab Imposta Tongue and Sharp Tongue and Imposta Tongue and laugh your way to the highest scores imaginable. Also, this is going to be amazing in, like, multiplayer 2, one in it. Because, heck, you don't need to worry that much about it. Everyone's get, constantly getting healed and health. What else is anything else going to do? Or something like that. Like, at 176 on Laboratory. They count as XP, too. Alright, stay still. No, they don't count as XP, but I got a lot of kills along the way. Hey, if Norologian spawns, it's wicked season. Oh, right, the growth increase. <laughs> That's why my level's so high. Take that, wicked season. No one likes you. 720 growth, jeez. Oh, the weaker tribal owners aren't doing much, and I've got 1,500 health. So, guess awake skin retired permanently, because this is going to be way better than any other circumstance. I mean, the sheer growth that this Mina with Wicked Season could do... It's going to be on parallel. Like, even my base base time warp has gotten this large. I'm not doing all that much damage, but it's very large. Not even crowd battle can stop me. Heck, 8.69 health regen. That's still pretty nice. And I'm restoring 10 for. Actually, even with all their stuff, I'm going to be getting some health back. Yeah, not even this can stop her. This wasn't even that good of a build. It have been so much better. And yet, she's just chewing through it. Heck, throw Divine Bloodline on top of this and you got a real nightmare on their hands. I mean, what are they supposed to do? Heck, what is death supposed to do? Can't stop this much time warp. Mm, very little could. Oh. Well. Revive. 2,000 health, 10 recovery, almost 1,000 growth. Oh man, it's toasty with this one. 
You don't have to rely on Divine Bloodline anymore. Oh, right, I should just quit out. Man, that just free win for Toasty, huh? Time warp. Time warp. Phew. And Pognala lasers her way into the amazing 500 on the best wick. Woo! 501 with Giovanna and 502 with Papaya. Red, red, red. And that leaves us with 1,453 more to go. Definitely over a quarter of the way through now. Yay! Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Thank you anyone who has supported the channel with a like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. And if you haven't, please do so. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in Vampire Survivor's Beswick.